Hello everybody. Um, welcome to the first vlog of December. Uh, December is only a few days away now. Um, and yeah, anyway, it is Monday, November 28th, and I am getting ready to pack up all my stuff. Hi, buddy. Hi. He's hello. Let me make sure my phone number's not on the internet. There you go. Hi. Hey, new buddy. Is that your bed over there? Yeah. I'm getting ready to pack up my stuff. Um, basically just move my office for the day upstairs to the kitchen table. Um, because I've been voluntold um, uh, to hang out there. Uh, I'm the only one who can. Um, and we're waiting for the dishwasher repair guy to um, show up to pop in a replacement part for something in our dishwasher. The dishwasher still works, but the top rack, um, one of the brackets came off, um, broke off. So um, that is a thing that has to get fixed. And he's already been here once and they ordered the wrong part. And so he's gotta come back. Um, and the poor guy drove from, um, pretty far away actually uh, to get here because there is apparently no warranty repair guy in town. Anyway, you don't need to know any of that really. Um, what you need to know is I am camping in the kitchen today and um, apparently also facilitating a bunch of Facebook marketplace sales. Uh, that's also a thing. I have a meeting at three or it's a workshop I guess. At three today I think we're probably um, going to be role playing, talking to realtors, or something along those lines. So I hate role playing. I hate pretending. Um, makes me feel stupid. Time her palm is in here. Hey, on the skin. The dishwasher repair guy has been and gone. Uh, some aftermath. I just need to put all the cleaning products back under the sink later. Um, because he needed to get in there to turn off the water. He had to fully pull our dishwasher out in order to fix to replace these little wheel things. We have extras in case the others break, but it was like not as simple and straightforward as you would think he's still in the driveway even um yeah so that was that was fun uh and apparently i have an extra training session today that just appeared on my calendar as if by magic so um at my brokerage they do this thing called pmac where basically it stands for pineapple mortgage agent quadrant i don't know why it's called that basically it's two sessions a week held by the ceo and he teaches us everything we need to know about building a business and um yeah so um there wasn't any scheduled for this week and there should have been and now there is and so yes that's a thing i need to do it starts at 12 30. thankfully i can do it from the table here maybe um but then i have a workshop which is like role playing and like practicing at talking to realtors and actually what is this session about it'll tell me maybe mm. 
Part two of the Borrow Leads journey, application, training of our tools, best practices for effective communication and relationship building. Laptop is required. I don't know what that means. Um, but that is what I'm doing this afternoon. It's supposed to be three hours. Last time it was only two. Um, all right, um, let's put all of this back in here. This was back here somewhere. I don't even know. I have actually no idea where most of this went. All of these hang up on here. My mom made this little thing that she saw on Pinterest. Got all of these too. It's really heavy. Mine is always like, the moment I start talking to anybody, she wanders over and is like, excuse me, why aren't you petting me? But there was already, I think this is the second session of the second workshop. So um, there's already been, a, been one. Um, of this same topic. I don't know if it's just my lucky week or the last few days, but I've had things cancel on me. Um to the point where it's just I'm I'm getting like a little bit of time back. It's so nice. I was supposed to have a three hour long workshop. I don't know, something is happening at head office where they can't get the online portion to work. And um, it meant that we'll have to reschedule it for later. Um, and I get three hours back, well, two and a half, um, to do the work that I need to get done. And considering I spent the morning upstairs in the kitchen not getting much done but getting some things done and I have a lot of client work to do um yeah I think this is this is pretty dang great I'm not gonna lie I'm very excited about it feels a little bit like um the substitute teacher never showed up or the teacher never showed up so we all left um but yeah I'll take it because I need it. I still need to edit a vlog um, and get it uploaded and scheduled for Wednesday. I also need to do make some social media posts for a client, update her store list, and make a fundraiser form. So I'm going to go do that and um, I'll catch up with you guys later. Good morning everybody. I am... Uh, 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 excuse me, ma'am, you cannot have my breakfast, which happens to be right there. Yeah, anyways, um, it's Tuesday, it's about quarter to ten, and I'm sitting down at my desk for the first time because we have a lender and vendor, um, 
info session at 10. Actually, we have a different training every day of the week. Um, I think they're wrapping up for the year though, so this might be the last week with um, the daily trainings until the new year. So um, yeah, I'm also still in my pajamas because I don't have to be on camera for this in this meeting, although it's definitely a good idea. Um, it just sometimes, you know what? I don't want to be. So I'm not wearing a bra. I'm not in proper clothes yet or even just inside clothes. And yeah. Um, all right. Um, I just packed up all my stuff and I'm actually going to head out to Starbucks to work. My friend Amanda's there. Um, and actually we met at Starbucks of all places. Um, I just need to get my cardigan from upstairs. My whole laptop bag is packed up. Um, and I need to take off this sweater because it smells like food that I cooked yesterday because I was wearing it yesterday. And um, yeah. Oh, and I need to change into my shoes because I'm currently wearing um, slippers that look like this. Please don't look at the stuff on my floor. Dog hair is everywhere. Um, yeah, anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to take the camera because uh, I've, she's told me it's very, very busy in there. And so I have a feeling it's kind of just too busy to think. I need to show you guys where Abby has been hiding these days. I don't know if she's just cold or what, but she keeps putting her bed under there. Under there. And uh, yeah, she's just sleeping peacefully in her little cave. <laughs> and uh, proof that I have not unpacked everything. And everything is still a hot mess. And all you see is the neat and tidy background. That is this corner. Good morning. Um, it is Wednesday. Almost 10 a.m. I'm still in my pajamas. Um, and I'm just getting ready for our first training session. When, what is the date on this? Oh, this is last year. I can throw this out. It's a prescription receipt thingy. Anyway, this is my um, breakfast this morning. I would tilt it towards you, but I'm a little afraid the clementines will just roll off. That is two fried eggs, some toast. Um, one has a little bit of triple tomato underneath, um, but we ran out, so the other one does not. With some salt, pepper, ketchup, and a little bit of shredded cheese. Um, normally it would be like a slice of marble cheese, but, um, I'll be honest, the package of sliced cheese, um, from Costco was not open yet, and I didn't want to open it. My dog is fully refusing to go outside because it's, I don't know, monsooning out or something. So... That's fun. Oh, somebody replied all. Uh oh. That happens sometimes. I got very used to not doing it when I worked at Shopify because if you um, accidentally replied all, they would um, send a gift parade via email and it just started a whole chain of chaos. So. I don't want that on my conscience. <laughs> Updates. I apparently have apps to update on my computer. Mm, these are like the perfect eggs. A little gooey inside, a little hard in some places, but yeah, just perfect. I used to make them much softer so it would all run out. But to be honest, it made it nearly impossible to eat it like this, so. Mm. 
All right, I gotta go because my sales and marketing training starts in two minutes. up with my camera lens okay um hi we're going to Canadian Tire to buy a Christmas tree that's not the one I'm getting oh no <laughs> hello Wow, you can see everything in those. Inception. Well, as you can see in my glasses, I'm sitting in front of a construction site. Um, let's take those off. <laughs> I feel like it's a little rude, but to wear them. Um, I secured the goods, got my Christmas tree. Uh, I had to ask somebody for help to find it because it was not in with all the other Christmas trees, but totally fine. And I just went through uh, McDonald's. So McDonald's has a app and like a point system now and I find that I will rarely go through the drive through um, instead I just do the order and curbside because it's way easier to use your app to pay for things and you can order it ahead of time and then just like go and park and pick it up are you guys using the app because yeah it's made me much more experimental with what I order as well um, because I can like add things and I don't feel like I'm annoying people because I'm just like adding it to the list Anyways, um, I got a bacon and egg McMuffin with um, habanero um, Nugget sauce to put on it. So that's what I'm gonna eat Someone literally just pulled up sort of behind me Sort of not I don't know like, the parking lot is practically empty, and they decided to park as close to me as they could get. Okay, well, I'm about to doctor my sandwich. I hope this works. I've uh, never done it before, but I really enjoy the habanero sauce. I think it's, like, the same sauce if you tried the, like, BTS meal that came out a while back. I think it's that same sauce, but, oh, that's a lot of sauce. Um, basically just, I don't have anything to spread this with. This is such a mess. Um, and I just need the rest of my sandwich, which is sitting behind you. We'll just slap that on there. Let's see, how does it taste? Spicy. And that's pretty much it. I don't know, there's something like, it has a good kick to it, but it just is missing just like something you know when the flavor is just hot and there's no like actual flavor to it it's just like almost like a punishment you know it's just spicy but not the taste of spicy just the heat and there's no like flavor that goes with it it's like it's mayonnaise and only pepper mixed together you know I'm still gonna eat it kind of worked. Alright, I'm gonna finish eating this. Then, I only got like a little bit of food because I know I'm going to Starbucks afterwards to get a Frappuccino. Then I have to get my mom her ice cap. She really likes candy cane ice caps. They're only around in the winter time. And she would drink one every single day if she could. Um and gets mad when they come off the menu after winter is over. So, yeah. 
she didn't really understand the, the concept of seasonal drinks, which is very funny, actually. So, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna finish eating. Oh, that lighting is spectacular. Okay, so, um, okay, so I am just getting back in the car from picking up an order from the Carson house which is like a consignment store for furniture and homewares and stuff like that. I was scrolling their website the other day, or I guess it was yesterday actually, and I saw this really nice planter that I wanted, and my brother has been looking for something to get me for Christmas. So I literally like just dropped the link and was like, ooh, this planter is nice. And without saying a dang thing, he just went and bought it, <laughs> which I think is hilarious. And then he's like, oh yeah, how am I supposed to like, um, how am I supposed to even get it? Because their hours are sort of, he would never be able to get here to pick it up. So, I popped in to pick it up, and yeah, uh, it's now, I'm not going to show you what it looks like. They wrapped it up all nice, and, um, I don't want to unwrap it. He may even just give it to me as it is wrapped currently because it looks nice <laughs> and is all bagged up so yeah let me I'm just gonna flip the camera around that I can see like the owner and stuff in the window so I don't want to be like creepy but yeah so like this is the front of it and if you're in Kingston if you're in Kingston it is right near the corner of Bath and Gardner's Road. Now I'm off to Tim Hortons to get my mom her ice cap, which I think she's chomping at the bit for because she texted me and asked if I was home yet or she just was dreaming that up and I was like, dreaming. It's definitely dreaming. So, and I have a bit of a headache. I think I wanna go home and maybe take some Advil and take a little nap, a little nappy nap. This planter is about the exact same size I thought it was, which is good because um, it's comical how big the one is I got for my snake plant. Um, I It could work as a swimming pool for a baby. It's so big, so uh, I'm glad this one is right on the size that I actually thought it was. Echo, turn off all lights. Okay. It's magical. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, I don't think I like the switching. That's for Christmas Eve. The switching is for Christmas Eve. Yes. Now I just need to find where all of my ornaments are. Um because they are still in all of that chaos I just created. All right, well, uh, that cord sticks out really far. Or the little boxy thing for it sticks out really far. But oh my God, it's so cute. It's so cute. I pulled the little table it's on closer to my desk because I'm trying to create, I need to create a barrier to keep my dog out of this little section. Um, so I moved this thing closer. Um, 
and maybe you'll be able to see it in zoom calls now or google meets anyway i'm gonna go because that was fun but i don't know where my ornaments are but i hope you guys had a great week um i know this time of year is really overwhelming with the amount of content people put out um because vlogmas and all of that but i so appreciate those of you that watch those of you that share and like the video and leave comments all of those things help me but on top of that it's encouraging when you see people liking and sharing and commenting there's nothing more um i would say depressing is putting content out when you know there's people who want to watch it who just or like when you know that you have an audience but like nobody's watching it and you have no idea why um so yeah anyways uh i know there's lots to watch at this time of year if you get overwhelmed totally understand um i'm not going to make these overly festive they're definitely not vlogmas for sure um but there will be some holiday content in there a little bit so Anyways, I gotta go um, get dressed. I'm very cold right now. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go to work. Gotta pack a lunch too. I think we've, I have left over pizza in the fridge. All right, I'm gonna go. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.